Okay, hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers Initiative. And today we're gonna see a Java Challenger about streams. Okay, so that's the Challenger. Here we are using a list of method from Java 9. This is a collection factory. And here we are uh, utilizing a stream with some methods here. And I want to know what's gonna be the output of this Challenger. I'm gonna give you some time to think about it. So are you ready? Yes, sir, yeah. bring it on. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see then. So now we are running the challengers with Docker. So firstly, we're gonna build our image. Okay, so let's go. So let's see, what is the answer? -na -na. Oh, yeah, Ronaldo, you're right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Ronaldo. nothing's gonna be printed. So this is really tricky and I'm gonna explain why uh, that's the answer. So with streams, uh, when we work with streams, uh, they are actually lazy. So all those methods here, all of them are uh, intermediate methods. So what does that mean? It means that those methods will be only invoked if we have a terminal operation here. So an example of terminal operation method is the collector method. Let me just change here to the other Java class. Let's just run here on IntelliJ. Yeah, as you can see, it's empty. And that happens because all methods here are just intermediate methods. But if we put here, uh, method that is a terminal operation, then your answer, uh, Rodrigo, would be correct. Collectors to list. So let's see now. Yeah, so we would have four, and that makes sense because on the first method, we would be skipping the first one. So we would go to, we would have just those elements on the stream. And then when we filter, we would have just the elements that starts with loop, that would be just look, and then we would limit four and that wouldn't matter actually because it would have just two elements look and look and then it would use the instinct that would remove the duplicity of this list then we would have just one look and here on this map method is basically a transform method so we would transform a string to the length of the string in our case look is four and here i would just uh, transform um, the Jedi to a stream, uh, but nothing happens really here because it is already a stream here. And then we would pick the only Jedi that is remaining on that list. That would be look, but of course we would print uh, this element as the length. Therefore it would be four. But again, if we remove the terminal operator method, there's no answer because streams are lazy. And streams are going to wait for our terminal operation method. If we don't have that, nothing will happen. Okay. And that's pretty much it for this challenger. Do you have any questions? No, I'm good. I'm good. Tricky one. Thanks. It is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So thank you. Uh, thanks guys. Okay guys. So that was a challenger about streams. And as you can see, streams are lazy. This means that we have to have a terminal, uh, operator method. That's the only way to make the intermediate methods work okay and streams are very uh important because we can create much cleaner code by using the power of streams and that's pretty much it uh if you like the video please give a like and get subscribed to the channel on that way you're gonna help me out to create even better videos for you and on this video i'm gonna just uh, offer you something that's unique I'm gonna offer you the code of the challengers. So I'm gonna put the link on the description. So you can just enter uh, on this link and get the source code for you. Then you can run your own tests. On that way, you're gonna absorb uh, the content of the challengers much better. And you're also gonna be, uh, if, you, if you don't know Git yet, you are gonna be learning Git. And that's it for this challenger. Uh, see you the next time.